Chapter 1.5, Quick Review, Problems 1 through 10, page 135. Section 1.5 has to do with parametric and inverses of functions, and we're going to be working on parametric functions next year, but we'll work on inverses really with this chapter, this section of the book. And this is a lead in to these exercises, which are basic uh, algebraic operations to solve for a uh, variable y. So in exercise 1 through 10, we're going to be doing the odd number problems here. We have this equation, x equals 3y minus 6. We're going to use the symmetric property of equality and rewrite this equation as 3y minus 6 equals x. And so we can, we can switch sides because of that symmetric property and quality. And to solve for y, why do we switch this? To have the variable or unknown we're trying to solve for on the left side of the equation x is variable. And if we add 6 to both sides of this equation, we have 3y equals x plus 6. And now we can divide both sides of this equation by 3. And if we really have the equation solved at this point, we're going to say y equals, we're going to have x over 3. We're going to write that as 1 third x. We could just write that as x over 3 plus 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So here we are. Next, let's look at next other problem, which is 3. We're going to use, again, symmetric property of equality. We're going to rewrite this as y squared plus 4 equals x. And to solve for y, we subtract 4 from both sides of this equation. And so we have y squared equals x minus 4. Now what do we do to solve for y? We take the square root of both sides of this equation. And so we have y equals square root of 20x minus 4. Now is uh, is this the solution solving for y? No, it is not. This is an incomplete solution. When we take the square root here, we're going to have plus or minus so really, this is y equals plus positive square root 20 x minus 4 and also negative 20 square root of x minus 4. That's crucial here. Okay, let's go on to number 5. Okay, here we have a rational equation. And um, let's just... This this is provides some challenge for a lot of students and even more advanced students. I'm going to rewrite this function. This time I'm not going to rewrite. I'm not going to switch this around because we're going to have uh, a fair amount of manipulating to do before we get uh, y isolated. We're going to clear out the denominator. And how do we clear out the denominator of this y plus three? We're going to multiply this whole equation by y plus 3. And what happens here is this y plus 3 divided by y plus 3 will cancel, and we're left with x times quantity y plus 3. And that is going to be equal to, and so that's the left side. We've distributed this y plus 3 to this x. Do you see that? And then this y plus, on the right side, y plus 3 over y plus 3 cancel, and so we're left with y minus 2. And so the uh, next thing we're going to do is just distribute this x to both terms inside the parentheses. We have xy plus 3x is equal to y minus 2. 
now to solve for y, we're going to get everything with y in it to one side of the equation and everything that doesn't have y to the other side of the equation. So we're going to get rid of this 3x. We're going to use our left side to solve for y. So we're going to, we're going to subtract. I'm going to do this in red here. Subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. And we're going to do another one at the same time. This one in purple. We're going to subtract y from the right side of the equation and from the left side of the equation. Subtract y. And so we cancel. Uh, 3x minus 3x cancels and y minus y cancels. And we write what we have left, which is xy minus y is equal to negative 2 minus 3x. And we have both terms on the left have a y. We can factor out a y from both terms. Now I'm going to take this up here to give, give a little more room. And I'm going to rewrite this xy minus y as y times quantity. What do we multiply y, y by to get xy? Well, it's going to be x. And then what do we multiply y by to get negative y? We have minus 1. And on the right side, we just bring over what we had below, which is negative 2 minus 3x. And then we can divide by both sides of this equation by x minus 1, x minus 1. And then on the left side, x minus 1 over x minus 1 cancel each other. And we're left with y equals negative 2 minus 3x over x minus 1. And that's going to be our solution for y. The next one we have is similar in degree of difficulty to number 5. And so I'm just going to rewrite this as x equals 2y plus 1 over y minus 4. Again, we're going to clear out our denominator by multiplying this equation by y minus 4. And then what happens? Well, on the left side, we're going to have x distributing. We have x times quantity y minus 4 is equal to, we have y minus 4 over y minus 4 cancels. So on the right side, we have 2y plus 1. And now distributing, we have xy minus 4x is equal to 2y plus 1. And now we're going to move everything with the y to the left side and everything without a y to the right side. So on the left side, we have negative 4x. We're going to add 4x to both sides of the equation. And we're going to subtract 2y. So minus 2y, minus 2y. And we're going to cross out what we've canceled negative 4x plus 4x, and 2y minus 2y. And what do we have left? We have xy minus 2y equals 1 plus 4x. And now on the left side, our common factor is y. So we're going to take this y, y times what equals xy, well y times x. y times what equals negative 2y, well minus 2. And it's going to be equal to 1 plus 4x. And now if we divide both sides of the equation by x minus 2, 
we have cancellation of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. And so we, y is finally solved for. y equals 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. All right, uh, next and our last other problem is 9. Uh, here we have, uh, this has confused some of my students in the past, x equals the square root of quantity y plus 3, and y is greater than or equal to negative 3. All this thing here, this y is greater than or equal to negative 3, that's just the condition, because if we, we know inside the radical that y plus 3 has to be greater than or equal to zero. So solving for y, y has to be greater than or equal to negative three. And so what they've done here is they've just here already worked out that condition for you. So again, symmetric property of equality, I'm gonna put what we're solving for on the left side. So I'm gonna put square root of quantity y plus three is equal to x. So we just switched these around and then we're gonna we're gonna square both sides of the equation so we're gonna have a y the square root and square cancel each other so we're left with y plus 3 is equal to x squared and then to solve for y we subtract 3 from both sides of the equation and having done that we have y equals x squared minus 3. And this is our answer solving for y, but with the understanding that our original condition is y has to be greater than or equal to negative 3. So anything in this equation that gives you a y of, of uh, less than negative three, well that's just not gonna not gonna work. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. Good luck on these these even on problems as well. And thanks for viewing.